Modern art broke away from the conventional forms of arts, emerged in response during the Industrial Revolution. Experimentation, major diversion from the techniques of the past. Subjective representation. Contemporary art, style belonging to artists still living today. Incorporate new mediums to match societal advancements in resources and technology. Parallel to the beginning and rise of globalization. Liberated and free-spirited. In terms of modern art styles, first we have realism, a movement of art that is an accurate, detailed, and unembellished picture, depiction of nature or of contemporary life. It rejects imaginative idealization in favor of a close observation of outward appearances. An example of artwork in realism is the Duyan, or in English translation, Cradle, which shows a mother trying to put her child into sleep in a Filipino manner, wherein babies are put to sleep using, in, using a duyan or cradle. The artwork was created by Nestor Garcia Lena Sr., a Filipino realist painter. He was born in Santa Cruz, Manila. Lainez is regarded as one of the leaders of the magic realism movement of the Philippines. Next, we have Impressionism, an art movement that developed in the 19th century. It desires to create works that reflected the world in which they live, uniting them as a focus on how light could define a moment in time, with color providing definition instead of black lines. An example of Impressionism artwork is the Antipolo. An oil painting on canvas which depicts a rural scene where a group of people are shown celebrating a fiesta in Antipolo. The main focus is on a pair of dancers in a field surrounded by revelers, both young and old. The artwork was created by Fernando Cueto Borsolo. He was an incessant sketch artist, portraitist, and painter of rural Philippine landscapes. Amorsolo is best known for his illuminated landscapes, which, which often depict traditional Filipino customs, culture, fiestas, and occupations. Next, Post-Impressionism, a movement of art that developed in the 1890s. It is characterized by a subjective approach to painting, as artists hope to evoke emotions using simplified colors and definitive forms rather than realism in their work. An example of a Filipino artist who made post-impressionism artworks was Oscar Ramos, also known as the Filipino Impressionist, at the Hotel Palace, Berlin. He was initially trained in architecture and studied at the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts on his scholarship. He made the artwork The Fruit Vendor. Neo-impressionism is a late 19th century French art theory and practice characterized by an attempt to make Impressionism more precise in form and the use of a pointillistic painting technique. It was led by George Seurat, who was its original theorist and most significant artist, and by Paul Signac, also an important artist and the movement's major spokesman. This painting was made by Benedicto Cabrera, or also known as Ben Cab, in 1989. It was entitled Sabel. In Ben Cab's perspective, Sabel was a symbol of despair, dislocation, and isolation. She captured the mind of the artist as her makeshift clothing that was made out of throwaway plastic sheets created different shapes while she moved around scavenging for food. The Daisy. The Daisy as a movement began during the early hours of 1910s. It's brought onto life as a form of protest against the absurdity and ridiculousness of modernity. That art can be described as nonsensical, often characterized as irrational, humor, and silliness. An example of a Filipino artist who practiced the Daisy within his artworks is John Andres, a local artist from the present, not much known by the public and still yet to gain more popularity and attention, but his artworks is one of the best examples of Dada art. An example of his artworks that forms the Daisy will be Snow White Monster and Mona Lazy. Surrealism Surrealism is a movement sought to channel the unconscious as a means of unlocking the power of imagination. 
when a piece is created with the influence of surrealism, it will show visuals of art devoid of logical comprehension, extracted straight from the unconscious mind. Surrealism opposes the rationalism filled perspective of life with the uncanny perspective of unconscious and dreams. An example of a Filipino artist who practiced surrealism would be Andres Boracinto, a Filipino surrealist painter known for implementing and imbuing traditional Japanese styles and patterns into his surrealist portraits. On the other hand, with his nature team artworks, he transforms it into surreal imagery by juxtaposing images and then combining them into one world masterpiece. An example of his arts may be the When Horses Gallops and Girl on Island. Cubism Cubism is a form of revolutionary approach of art that started around 1907 to 1908. It is invented by two artists, namely George Brooks and Pablo Picasso. The piece involves putting views of different objects or figures together in the same canvas or picture. It results in the painting that appears abstracted, fractured, and splintered. An example of an artist that practiced Cubism will be Vincente Manansala, a known Cubist painter and illustrator. Born on January 22, 1910, he eventually developed transparent Cubism, where in the canvas, he masterfully overlays delicate tones, shades, shapes, patterns, and figures. An example of his Cubism art group may be the market vendors. Abstract Expressionism Despite the rise of abstract expressionist art in the Philippines, the Filipino audience was not very receptive to abstract expressionism. It perceived abstraction as failed mimetic representation and the public attitude towards abstract art was characterized by indifference or outright antagonism. Even during the 1970s, as the Philippine art market began to open up to abstraction, this is an example of Abstract Expressionism made by Jose T. Hoya on 1956 entitled Woman's Head, a Mixed Media on Paper. Conceptual Art It is the idea or the concept being the most important aspect of the work. When an artist uses a conceptual form of art, it means that all of the planning and the decisions are made beforehand and the execution is a perfunctory affair. It is also characterized by its use of text as well as imagery along with a variety of ephemeral, typically everyday materials and found objects. This painting was titled Landscape with the Moon by Roberto Chabet. This was made in 1961 and can be found in the collection of Ateneo Art Gallery. Roberto Chabet was also acknowledged as the father of the Philippine conceptual art. Feminist art provides a place for female-centered representation and exposes the erasure of women and their achievements in art and beyond. Feminist artists actively sought to stop Western art from simply reproducing gender barriers ingrained in society. One of the most sought-after feminist artists is Pasita Abad and their famous masterpiece called Filipina, a racial identity crisis, where it focuses on two women the austere Maria Isabel Lopez, who is Mestiza, and Earthy Liwayway Etnica, who is Kayamangi. Together, they represent the opposing racial strains that make the modern-day Filipina unique and confused about who she is behind the skin color. Installation artwork often occupy an entire room or gallery space that the spectator has to walk through in order to engage fully with the work of art. Installation of Doris Salcedo function as political and mental archaeology, using domestic materials charged with different meanings. She depicts burdens and conflicts with precise economical means. The wooden chairs that were slowly lowered against the fake of New Palace of Justice Building is created an act of memory that re-inhabited the space of forgetting. Appropriation in art is the use of pre-existing objects or images with little or no trans formation applied to them. The use of appropriation has played a significant role in the history of art. In 1919, Marcel Duncan performed a seemingly adolescent prank using a postcard and represented the ideal feminine beauty. Leonardo da Vinci Mona Lisa, he drew a mustache and a goatee on her face and added the letters L-H-O-O-Q. The caption combines Duncan's glee gleeful sense of wit, his love 
of wordplay. At its most basic, hybridity refers to the combination of two or more elements to produce a third. It is the adoption of a new style by combining elements from various genres in order to appeal to a broader audience. This piece is a visual representation of the painter's some dexterity and a reflection of the realism. Having to paint ambitiously requires a sense of compromising as his two distinctively different characteristics on left and right have they led him to build his own identity. Digital art is an artistic work or practice that uses digital technology as a part of creative or presentation process. Since the 1960s, various names have been used to describe the process, including computer art and the multimedia art. Co-director of the animated film Inside Out, Ronald Del Carmen shared that he had to use his own life experiences to create this masterpiece. He also landed a job as an animator in Warner Bros. and became a storyboard artist for Batman, the animated series.